Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we have the shop kind of opened up. We got the SS here with the hood popped open. That is what we're working on today, but let's show you what we're going to be doing. So you guys have seen lots of performance modifications done to this car. The modification that we're going to be doing today isn't really much more than an appearance choice. So let's show you what we got. You guys know that the 2014 and 2015 Chevy SS's have a very poorly designed front grille. As you guys can see, you know, we've improved it by adding some black stickers, but as you guys can see, the bow tie is starting to fall apart. And we also replaced the trim rings on the upper and lower grille, as well as the LED DRLs. So in today's video, we're gonna be changing one of those. And I hope you guys haven't seen what's in my hand, but here, we'll show you. As you guys can see, we have a 2016 and newer Chevy SS grill. Now, yes, this is used. I tried to buy this from GM. I tried to buy just the grill itself. The bow tie is actually the same part number between the 2014, 2015, and the 16 and 17. Also, I tried to order the chrome trim ring. The problem is, guys, I placed an order online through one of the online GM places, and they took my money, had no problem with that. The price was around $150 shipped, maybe it was $159 shipped, something like that, and uh, which I thought that was okay, because I knew I was gonna have to be, I'll be modifying these parts anyway. So I was like, well, you know, I might as well just go ahead and buy it new, because the used prices on these, on eBay, they want over $200 for these things. I'm like, it's just an upper grill, it's nothing, super fancy so i ended up looking on facebook marketplace and one of the guys and i believe it was the chevy ss parts group you know whatever you want to call it chevy ss holden parts group whatever it was he was selling this for like a 100 bucks you know i split shipping with him and the guy lived down in georgia so i got this for 110 dollars shipped which you know guys not bad for it being used and it already comes modified with the painted uh, bow tie. He had this, he had it painted uh, with, it's like a gunmetal, dark gunmetal, like a flat black. So it doesn't look too bad. But today's video, we are not gonna be modifying this grill at all. I will say this, we will be modifying this grill in the future. But for today's video, I just wanna get it installed and kind of show you the process of getting everything set up. So now that we've shown you the grill, We'll show you what we have to modify on the grill and go ahead and get the bumper pulled and go from there. Now that we've got the bumper off, as you guys just saw in the time lapse, we can now go ahead and swap the grill. Now supposedly this should be a fairly straightforward swap. We may have to take a Dremel and widen or modify some of the holes on the 2016-2017 grill to fit the 14 and 15 bumper. As you can see, I've looked at all the spots. They almost look identical except for one spot. You guys see these two tabs right here in the middle? The 1617 only has one. I'll try to show you that on camera. You guys see that right here in the middle? I think that's the only one we're gonna have to modify. So let's go ahead and get the 1415 out and see what else we gotta change. We have the 1415 
grill off. We didn't screw anything up. It is a little dirty, so we are gonna have to clean this thing, but this will eventually be for sale. And here is the 1617 grill. We'll try to show you what lines up and what doesn't. All right, that lines up, that lines up. So the outer, the very most outer ones line up. These all line up. Like I said, the only two that aren't gonna line up are the very middle here. I don't think you guys can see that. The 1415 has like one slot, you know, for one, one here on each side. And the 1617 obviously just used this center piece. So what we're going to have to do is I'm just going to set the 1415 grill next to this one, mark it, and see what we're going to have to modify. If you guys can see the silver marks that I've made, that is approximately the outside edge of what the 1415 grill had. So basically what I'm going to take, I'm going to just take a cutoff wheel with my Dremel and just make this hole longer on each side. Yes, you're not gonna have any support here in the middle, but honestly guys, I don't think, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. I think it'll be fine. So we'll modify that, put that in, and uh, we'll show you what this looks like. If you guys can see, I opened up that bottom hole right here. The silver mark is all gone, so this initially ended right there. Now it goes all the way through. Now you guys might see these two little humps. I'm not sure if you can see that in camera. Yeah, you can. If you see those two little humps, I was not able to reach that from the back. I may have to come in and drum that from the front, but for right now, let's go ahead and try to get this installed. And uh, if that isn't a problem, cool if it is, you know, we'll just go ahead and modify that as well. As you guys can see, it fits. We're just a little tight. So I may have to do some more modifications, but let's go ahead and get this thing all the way in. We'll see what we gotta change. And here we go. Here is the finished product with the grill fully installed. You will see that the front is fully fitting. And here in the back, we put the screws back in. So there's a screw there, a screw there. All of the clips, all the tabs have been pushed back in and we're good to go. So I'm gonna put the bumper back on the car, tighten everything up and we'll update you guys with the finished product. Here's the finished result. You guys can see that the grill is fully installed and we have the bumper put back on. I still need to put some of the bolts on the bottom back in so it's gonna look a little loose but otherwise we should be pretty good. Yeah, you guys can see I need to tighten that up. And probably this end over here, yeah, I need to tighten that up too. So, but other than that, we're looking pretty good. And don't mind the car, it's pretty dirty. And also, if you guys are freaking out about the chrome ring, I have a solution for that, but we will reveal that in another video. And there you go, guys, that is the 2016-2017 grill install on your 2014-2015. It makes it look a lot better. I'll be honest guys, Chevrolet really stepped it up with this grill design. You know, this grill design, I just, I've never liked it. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously it looks better with the chrome trim ring black, but I just, I've never been a huge fan. And I just, I've never really liked this design on the car, but this new grill looks a thousand times better. And yes, like I said, we will be taking care of the chrome. We'll, we'll, we'll be doing something with that in the future. So the install was pretty simple. Like I said earlier, all you gotta do is cut that middle piece out with the Dremel. That way the two tabs can slide in the, on the bottom instead of just the one that's on the 1617 design and you should be good to go. It's not that hard of an install. 
And yes, guys, the bottom does not match, but honestly, the bottom grill does not have that much of a grill opening. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. There is one or two aftermarket options out there. One is a plastic grill, one is metal. I don't wanna sound pompous or anything, but I really do not like the metal option. It makes it look like a CTSV. And I'm like, that's not what we're trying to go with this, you know, with this look. So, but anyway, we'll address the bottom at a later date. It may be a lot later, I don't know. We'll just see. So, but we'll get to that, like I said, we'll get to that at a later date. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you wanna know when I upload new content, hit the bell notification button down below. And as always, if you guys wanna help support the channel, click all the links down below. Thanks guys, have a great one.